Hi foodies, let's get started on this delicious tandoori chicken. So I have chicken thighs. You want to make sure you clean those up, take the skin off. These are bone in and I just made some slits in there because the marinade is going to soak right into that meat and make it tender, juicy and flavorful. We're going to season the chicken by adding some salt. Then you can use lime or lemon juice. And we're going to add a red food coloring. Yes, you can use the gel, you can use the powder, you can use the liquid, whatever you are comfortable with. Because we are going to be using some cashmere pepper in this and that does add some redness. But if you want that really deep red for tandoori chicken, you're going to use some red food dye. Okay, so use whatever you're comfortable with. Rub that into the chicken. And that's not all. We need to get some more flavor into this, okay? So we are going to be using some fresh cilantro. Here I have Kashmiri chili powder, garam masala, turmeric, right? And over here I have garlic and ginger. You're going to put all of those ingredients in a blender or food processor, add some lime or lemon juice, a splash of water or oil if you need more liquid, puree that till it's smooth, and then massage it into the chicken. Make sure you get that marinade into those slits. Now there's an Indian restaurant that I love to go to. It is an hour or more away from me though. So since I can't go, I just make it at home. Of course, it's not going to be the authentic way because, of course, you're not using the tandoor. But the flavor is going to be there. And we're going to take some steps to get that beautiful experience. Okay. I forgot to add my black pepper. So I just added some black pepper last minute, rubbing it in here. And then you're going to let this sit in the fridge for 30 minutes. And of course, we're not going to stop there. We are not done. Okay. Okay. After the 30 minutes, we're going to add plain yogurt. Just massage it into the chicken. Of course, if you want to, you know, if you're in a rush, just blend all the ingredients together and do it in one step. But I promise you, if you do the marinade in two stages, you will reap the rewards once you taste that beautiful chicken in the end. Let this marinate for 25 minutes. And then it's time to cook it up. So you could put this on a baking tray or you could put it on a grill. Make sure the oven is preheated to 450 Fahrenheit. And you're going to be cooking the chicken for about 25 minutes. Then turn on your broiler to the highest setting to get that char. Or you can do what I did. I finished it on the stovetop in my cast iron grill pan to get that char. You can't have tandoori chicken without getting those crunchy charred bits on there. Then you're going to brush it with some ghee or some butter before you serve it. If you are using boneless thighs, you could actually just do it on the stovetop in the grill pan. No need for the oven. So guys, the Jamaican in me couldn't resist chopping this up like some jerk chicken. I know you don't have to, but I felt like it. So I chopped it up. Garnished with some cilantro and lime. You could have this with basmati rice, jasmine rice, some garlic naan or some roti. This chicken is just so flavorful and it's tender, really juicy and it's not super spicy. So everyone can enjoy it. So if you guys are craving some Indian food and you don't want to do anything that's too spicy and you don't want to do curry, this is a good start. Let me know how it works out once you try it out. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.